Hey future artists, this is Nunawat Kalyan of IIT BHO Electronics Department. Here, I am going to share my experience of JRBAS. Don't skip this video, it, it is going to be a good video for you, which is helpful to you guys. So, this is, uh, I am going to talk about uh, J Advance. And going, uh, as we know that J Advance is helping on uh, 26th May. Uh, it is a crucial time, which is 30 days ahead of our uh, exam. So, I am uh, going to do some tips and tricks about uh, to how to go through the exam and how to go through the preparation of this 30 crucial days. So, here, uh, first of all, I uh, guess I'm going to tell you what to do in these 30 days and what are the strategies. First of all, uh, in these 30 days, we want to go through all chapters or all topics. So, we should select some topics, the more weightage, uh, weightage uh, advanced exam, and uh, from how to select these topics. So, uh, from the previous questions, uh, we have to select these topics scripted for us. Exactly, uh, from mass, fluent mass, integration, calculus parts, integration, differentiation. These are uh, like 100% questions from these uh, chapters and phonics too and some other geometrics. So we have to go through these circuit topics and uh, do questions on this, repeated questions on this, uh, you will score a good uh, score in mass. And going to physics, uh, like in physics, what is strong mechanics, which is an important topic. You will expect 100% questions from this and uh, electrostatics, electric currents and optics and thermodynamics, which is common for chemistry and physics. Go through one. Go through the thermodynamics, which is, which is very, very important for this. You will have questions in chemistry as well as in physics class. So go through this, you will get a good score in physics. And next, going to chemistry. See, chemistry contains three parts. You know, the physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and organic chemistry. So from the physical chemistry, you go through the thermodynamics, as I said, and next, atomic structure part, and period table parts, right? And next, and solid two. You will accept some easy questions from the solid states and uh, surface and And going to inorganic. From inorganic, you accept, accept uh, this statement types questions. Because inorganic part is of theory based guys, so you should, go, you should have a clear idea of the of, uh, inorganic part of this uh, P block and S block thing. Yes. Next, going to organic. Here, organic, uh, in the organic, you should go through hydrocarbons and alcohols, ethers, phenols, and some important compound formation are uh, some reactions, some reactions. So, if you go through this, you will get a good score in chemistry as well. So, here, as you know that in, in J means, uh, there is no separate uh, score for qualifying score for subject. But in, in this J advance, there is there will be a minimum score for subject each subject. So uh, for example, uh, for STSC categories, they may have 10 to 15 for each subject, uh, and for other OBC from 50 to 16. Uh, and uh, over this year, competition is increasing, guys. Everyone is uh, eager, uh, aware of this J advance, so they are preparing more and more. So uh, cutoff may be increased. So in both thoroughly to this uh, thoroughly to this topic, limited questions and uh, key values, you will get good score in this. I'm going to share some techniques. Techniques of uh, division, guys. So for maths, so how, what are the questions and how they will ask the questions? See, they will mix three concepts in a question. Example, uh, they mix a conic sections in the integrations. So you should have clear cut idea of the formulas. You should go the formulas first uh, of conic sections or uh, other like integration, differentiation formulas uh, and uh, next probability part and combination part. You should have clear cut idea of these uh, formulas. They will intermix the question. So we go through repeated this type of one a model which is repeatedly and which are uh, combined of three three con three four concept uh, question questions and next uh, coming to physics same there will be some two three concept two three chapters in a question so you should get have an aware of every chapter but uh but not all you have to go through some important chapters. as i told as i told chapters some chapters so revise those chapters go do the uh, questions of those chapters do the PYQs, previous questions, we we'll get idea, clear cut idea how they are going to ask the questions. And uh, yeah. coming to chemistry, uh, chemistry, even chemistry, they will mix two three concepts, like they will mix physical in uh, organic. So, like biomolecules of uh, biomolecules chapter is coming of physical and organic here. Yeah. So, those are some clear cut questions to PYQs, how they are asking, how should we approach. If you go uh, if you go through your approach, you get uh, you definitely will get the answers. So do some questions of uh, highly repeated model and some high weightage topics, then you will get good score in chemistry. Coming to cutoff marks uh, for SCST guys. So the last year cutoff is 42. This year may increase to 50, 55. So please go through these chapters and uh, do these questions thoroughly. Then you will get nearly 50 plus 60. You will get IIT tag here. And if you want a good uh, branch in good IITs, if you want a good uh, top colleges like uh, Bombay, Madras. IIT BHU and uh, Delhi, Karakur. If you want this type of colleges, you, you want 150 plus. Yeah. Coming to category OBC, NCL, and OBC. See, this is not uh, more difference as you think that you have reservation of NCL, but there is more competition in NCL too. So don't uh, have a conference of this uh, NCL, guys. So go prepare more. 
if you get more score you will get a good score in a, you will get good colleges in obc category yes. so first you are target to reach 150 plus for obc guys and it's come to general general is and general and ewes even if you are in ewes there is a tough competition there are many people are applied to ewes and they have many of them are in ewes category so there is a more competition in ewes too so prepare more and your target for getting iit is you should have 170 180 score to get a iit if you want to a good uh, iit and if you want a good branch you should score more than 200 business so go, go through this chapters which i have told you and uh, be be fresh and don't be uh, irritated uh, irritated so this is crucial test guys don't try to learn new things you have to do the problems and questions of the which you have learned and uh, don't demotivate and don't get irritated just be fresh do uh, do your problems and do your sol- uh, do your questions by cues and go through the chapters first you uh, don't discuss uh, everything with this others so you will be demotivated by discussing other things so this you have to focus on your studies this 30 days which is crucial days it may decide your future whether you are an iitn or an iitn or a normal college so this 30 days you should focus on studies after that you can enjoy well and next yeah, and uh, some of my friends from iit of different uh, branches who got uh, open rankers and of uh, they will share their experience of j advance and uh, they will share some uh, tips and tricks for sure this is abhishek from iit pg varanasi to agar aaj ka paper nazdeek aane wala hai to seriousness apni peak pe rakho kuch naye topics karna chahoge to kar sakte ho lekin zyada naye topics mat chhedne advance ke pehle just give a hard push and you will do great thank you Hello guys, I'm Bharat, and I'm doing my graduation from IIT Bombay right now. I have completed my first year. I'm doing chemical engineering. So yeah, as far as I remember, like the advance is in 30 days right from now, and 26 is the date, if I'm not wrong. So regarding the tips, like I have a lot of people ask me about tips. Even my friends from IIT Bombay and friends from here and there. So like, what I would like to recommend is try not to get overwhelmed and do not panic if you do not get things like. you cannot complete everything okay nobody completes everything so you only have to focus on capitalizing the things that you already know and make them strong and in the last 30 days just you have to brush up all the things that you have done and try to you know make your topic strong which you feel you can do it and if you feel that you can't do something at this point then you just have to try it once or twice and if you still think like you can't get your hopes up then all you can do is best to leave it because if you don't get that thing like if there is no success in that then you lose your hopes and we don't want that in this period of time so yeah that's one thing and try not to refer too many books because all the books have their own unique approaches and there are chances that you might you know self doubt your approach so we don't want that at this time so just pick up one book and stick to that book for me in physics it was itchy bomba it is a really good book and i'm pretty sure you can crack advance with it so that is from my side and in maths aryanth is good and in chemistry like my chemistry was very diverse i read ncert and tons of other books like ms john is there for organic for inorganic we have again the wiley book i don't remember then like some book okay and yeah so you can do that thing but just remember to stick to one book and do a lot of pyqs pyqs are your go to thing for advance and if you can't get some problem don't lose your hope like just try it some another day and write down where you got wrong in it so like you can you know practice again on it and yeah like you there are there will be some times where you lose hope and all you can do is just you know come back again like you don't have to push yourself to earn this last day because you have done all you can and you just have to keep practicing and brushing up things every day so yeah and like it will be worth it man <laughs>